I'm interrupting my own video for three important things that I think I should mention. Welcome Swaddy Card. My name is Rob and we are here at Q Chidlom in Bangkok. I'm going to be doing a condo tour video for you guys today and it's not any old condo, it's my condo. I've moved out of the Ashton Soak, which you may have seen in previous videos and moved here and I'm going to be explaining exactly why in today's video. So real quick before we jump into the condo and all the facilities, why do you want to live in this area? Why particularly this building maybe? Well, the building is right here and it's on the Klong San Seep River, which I've mentioned a million times in my previous videos. You've got the Chiplon Pier right here outside and further down is actually the Pratunam Pier where you would change over to carry on down to Khao San Road. You've got about a five minute walk to get to the Chitlom BTS, so it's super convenient for you to work your way around the city. And well, the building itself is actually on Petrobury Road as well. So again, super convenient to just jump in a taxi, five minute walk to the BTS, or just jump on the Klong Sand Sea. Check out this R word just outside. This is uh, been put up on the hoarding for the, uh, the demolition site that's going on at the moment. Absolutely amazing. So some of the main things worth knowing that are around here are Central World Shopping Mall. All by itself, it seems to be a tourist attraction these days. You've got a giant Big C, a Tesco Lotus, and a bunch of fashion malls all around. You've also got the Pratunam Market, which is open during the day and at night, as well as the Indie Night Market as well. And one of the main reasons that I moved to this area was for the street food. At night, a bunch of street food opens on Petrobury Road, and it makes life so, so convenient. And trust me, the food there is absolutely amazing. Some of it is even Michelin Guide. Honestly, I could harp on about this whole area for another hour, but we don't have time for that. Let's check out the condo itself. Okay, so that's enough about the area and why you'd want to actually live around here. Let's talk about the building itself and the facilities. You've got this amazing pool that probably needs no introduction. It actually wraps 360 degrees all the way around the building. It's got some jacuzzi areas where you can sort of sit, relax in the bubbles and just unwind and well soak in the view that you've probably seen a thousand times in this video already. Just above here, you've got a um, sort of lightly equipped gym. There's some free weights, there's uh, some cycle machines, a, a few bits and bobs to get a workout done. There's also a couple of uh, green spaces dotted around here as well to get like some body weight exercises done, maybe some yoga or something outside and again, soak in the view. And the floor below here is a games room. So you've got uh, foosball tables, you've got pool table, there's some chest stuff, places to sit down, unwind, take all your friends, it's absolute huge space. You probably have a huge party there. I don't know if you can book it out, we can always ask. Maybe we'll have a meet up there one day. So there's also uh, his and hers onsens on the 40th floor. It's a perfect place to just unwind, chill, soak in that view again. And again, you get a bit of privacy there as well. Nobody ever uses these facilities in all of the, the condos. It's such a shame, I really don't understand. So, well, you'd probably have it all to yourself. Man, what a view you get from up here as well. I remember like seven years ago, I went up in that tower looking over all of Bangkok. I'd rather be in this building looking at that one than that one looking at this one. So I just want to highlight this co-working space because it's one of the best ones I've seen for a while. They've kind of like separated it a little bit. You've got like this little chill out zone here where you can just, you know, read a book or do whatever and enjoy the sunset, same as the rest of the building. Uh, you've got like a little library section here. You can help yourself, just put the books back if you want. Um, more of like an open vibe sort of meeting area here. And then here it's kind of, you know, a privacy glass. You know, you can close 
off and just have a private meeting if you want or just work solo you can work anywhere in here that you want it's kind of like these benches here but they've put all the sockets underneath it's like they actually thought about what they were doing they've got really good wi-fi in here and the aircon actually works which can't be said for other co-working spaces here in bangkok and if you want to just hide around the corner chill out and do your work you can do it's just a pretty good space to actually get some work done so most buildings have a meeting room some sort that you can book out and this one is no exception little prep area there for doing some food or whatever you need to do some light snacks and obviously a table to just uh get whatever meeting it is you need done or even some kind of get together perhaps okay okay that's enough of the facilities let's go and check out the condo itself Okay, so that was the montage of the room, but what do we actually have here? Because this is 45 square meters. It's kind of got this studio vibe where you've got the separating doors you can slide along, and each room has got its own separate aircon. Slightly smaller one in the bedroom so you don't get completely choked out at night. But I got this for 19,000 Thai baht, which is like 540 US dollars or 444 British pounds, which is complete still to be living in this location in Bangkok, this size condo, and it even has a bath. Not only do we get the facilities in the building, we're up on this floor and we get this view. Why is it so cheap? I'm not too sure. I know there's cheap Charlie furniture in here and it's so boring. There's absolutely no soul to this room whatsoever. Look at all the dead space. I need to add some canvases, some plants, some lamps. But once I do that, I think it's just going to become more of a home. So for 19,000 Thai baht, I'll take it. Okay, real quick, this is Editing Rob. I'm interrupting my own video for three important things I think I should mention. This building's got biometrics, and you might think, wow, good for you, Rob. Well, actually, it kind of prevents Airbnbs because they can't get in and out of the building, they can't use the lift. And well, if you live in a condo here in Bangkok and you've got Airbnbs in your building, you know how frustrating that can be sometimes. Number two, the internet. I'm with True Fiber, and I'm getting 700 download and about 500 upload pretty consistently so that's worth knowing as well and third final not least well it's actually this guy on the ceiling in the Ashton Asok we had kind of built-in aircon units and uh, they were great but they would cost me between 3,000 and 3,200 baht per month pretty consistently for the entire year now these sort of older smaller units kick out just as much cold air and well these are going to cost between 1200 and 1500 that's more than 50 percent strut saving overnight just by moving condos crack on with the rest of the video another different thing with this condo layout is you can actually cut through the bathroom to get to the walk-in wardrobe sort of section into the bedroom and then back around again to the living room not bad for the for the space to be fair so that is going to do it for the Q Chidlom condo here in Bangkok. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There's a fun, exciting video coming next, so you don't want to miss it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.